Asturias is a mountainous region in the northern coast of the Iberian Peninsula. We've created a menu of the day for a small restaurant on the coast in Asturias which caters to locals. Customers have the choice of a beverage, first course, second course, and dessert. Cider production is concentrated in Asturias because the climate of the region is unfavorable for grapes to grow. As an alternative to wine, cider is made from locally grown apples that are naturally fermented in chestnut barrels with no sweeteners. Asturias is responsible for 80% of Spain's cider production. The drinking of cider is a very social event. To pour the drink, the bottle is held high overhead, which allows the liquid to release more flavors as it flows into the glass. Our menu would contain three cider options for the customers to choose from to complement their meal. First, Cidre Natural is the most popular and traditional cider, which is dry and often still cloudy with sediment. Second, Cidre Achampanada has a higher alcohol content due to an additional fermentation in the production process. Finally, Cidre de Nueva Expresión is the most refined of the three and is completely free of sediment. Entrecote al Cabrales is the first course dish which highlights Asturias' high quality beef and famous Asturian cheese, queso de Cabrales. Cabrales cheese is an especially pungent variety of blue cheese produced in the Picos de Europa mountain range within Asturias. It consists of a mixture of raw cow, goat, and sheep milk and spends two to four months aging in mountain caves where penicillin mold creates bluish green streaks in the white cheese. Cabrales cheese is the most popular cheese of Asturias and is protected by a designation of origin seal to guarantee authenticity and quality. Tender Asturian beef and coches are fried in olive oil and set in a Cabrales cheese sauce. The beef comes from the cattle that have been raised on Asturian pasture and butchered locally. Asturians love stews and the fabada asturiana is the most popular one, especially during the winter time. It is usually prepared with dried white beans, also known as faves, chorizo, black pudding, cured pork shoulder, and potatoes. However, it can be varied by adding clams, lobster, hare, or partridge. The most important component of the fabada are the white beans which give the stew its rich and creamy flavor. In fact, they have been described as the cornerstone of Asturian life. Numerous bean gardens are present in Asturia since the region offers the perfect amount of rain and sunshine. To ensure the quality of faves, there are guidelines that must be passed such as having a bright white color and a specific level of humidity. This demonstrates the pride that Asturians have for the favada. To finish the meal, we offer a traditional Asturian dessert, homemade arroz con leche, or rice pudding. The recipe used to make this dish has been passed down through many generations, and the history and culture is tangible in the pudding. The dessert contains all of the essential ingredients of this well-known classic, rice, butter, sugar, cinnamon, and milk. The milk used is fresh from cows in a nearby pasture, and the butter is fresh and locally made as well. The excellent quality of the dairy gives the dessert a slightly unique flair compared to your average rice pudding. The components are kept simple because Asturians value the natural flavors of ingredients. Finally, the chef will use a small hand torch to create a layer of caramelized sugar on top, the Asturian twist to this classic dish. The dessert is served warm and great accompanied by a cup of coffee.